Hello year one, a lot of you may not recognise who I am and that's because I'm new. I'm Mr Taylor and I'm the new year five teacher at Cage, Cage Green Primary School and I've been speaking to your teachers and they've both said that you've been doing lots of work in the home learning and I said that's amazing and I said can I do anything to help and they said if you want you can read them a story and I was like I can't wait. So I've chosen you a book and the book is called What the Ladybird Heard and it's written by Julia Donaldson and the pictures are created by Lydia Monks. Now before we start reading our story I'm going to read the back of the book and this is our blurb. It's going to tell us what the story is all about. Two crafty wobbers, one tiny ladybird and a whole farmyard of fun. Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len have a cunning plan to steal the farmer's fine prize cow. But they reckon without the tiniest, quietest creature of all, she has a plan of her own. So let's start our story. So this is the farm. Got tractors, different animals. We've got a pig there. We've got a scarecrow up there. Now let's read the first page. Once upon, a, once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond, a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep and a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. The ladybird is right there in the corner. And the cow said, moo. And the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose. And quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. And woof, said the dog. One cat meowed, whilst the other one heard and the ladybird never said a word but the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard she saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan and she heard them whisper this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. <gasps> no, that can't happen. Open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. <gasps> Left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, Past the, dog, past the hog, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. <gasps> and the cow said, moo, and the hen said, cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Bah, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea. And she whispered it into each animal ear. I wonder what, the, what she's, she was telling them. At dead of night, the two bad men Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len 
opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay, with all her might, and then said, that's the horse, turn right. So the goose is trying to trick the bad men, making the wrong direction. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck, said Hugh, we're on the right track. Oink, said the cats, there goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Bah, 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh. And he called the cops and they came. Nino! And they threw the thieves in their panda car. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Baa, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. And there they are, happily all in their areas, together on the farm. Well, I really enjoyed reading that story to you children, and hopefully I'll be able to be given another chance to read another story. And I can't wait to hear about all the wonderful work that you've been producing for your teachers. See you soon.